Hello, this is Wes at Bad Seed Games, and we're going to be picking up where we left off. Now, previously, if you remember, we had created uh, conditional statements so as to disable the uh, radar functions so that it would save on system resources. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to tell it to have a random patrol. So basically, it'll pick a random spot within a certain range, it'll create a waypoint, and then it will go to that waypoint. Alright, so let's get started first thing we need to do is we need to tell it how often we're going to be doing so. So, what I'm going to do in this one is I'm going to give it a random element. So, it's going to be a value between 1 and 5 seconds, and we're going to store it in random time interval. Alright, transition finished. And next we're going to tell it to wait for that amount of time. When it's done, fire off finished, and then go into the next state. Now the next state, we're going to have it extract the positional data so that it can then, then do the mathematical functions on each of the X and the Z. We don't need the Y because the Y, as you remember, is vertical and we only want it to move in the x and z axis. So, let's call this one maths. Since there's going to be a lot of maths in here. First thing we need to do is get the position. Okay. So now that we've got that in here, we're going to extract the x, y, and the z. So let's create some variables for that. So, x position. Oh, and these are going to be floats. Y position. And Z position. Now let's feed these in here. Alright, now the next thing we need to do is we need to get the element of randomness. So let's create two random floats. And we're going to be working on the X and the Z. Now let's give this uh, 15, sorry, minus 15 to 15 on each of them. Now, it is 15 on this game, but in yours you might need to uh, adjust the numbers and figure out which ones are the appropriate, which, which values or which ranges are appropriate. And now that we've got those done, we're going to add two float adds. And we need to add in... Oh, wait. Made a little mistake here. It's not the X and the Z position, it's uh, random X and random Z. Sorry about that. Alright, so float variables. Let's take X position, add the random X to get our offset. Let's do the same for the Z position. The random Z. Alright, so let's clean this up so it's easier to see. Now the next thing we need to do is now that we've got the offsets and we've calculated, we need to then set the vector 3. So what we're going to be using is waypoint position, which we need to define as a vector 3. Vector 3 values, position, and in here we're going to use X, Y, and Z. Alright, so now that we've extracted the data, performed the r chosen a random number, added the random number, and now reassembled it, we're going to go into the next step and we're going to create the object. Okay, now I've already got the object created, and it's a standard empty game object. And I've named it to Waypoint. Now I've also dragged it in and created a prefab. So, let's add 
transition finished and add the new state. Let's go. Let's use the create object. Let's drag in the waypoint prefab. And let's give it the position of waypoint position. Now, there is one more thing that we're going to need. We're going to store the object because we're going to be doing some calculations on it later. So, let's give it waypoint. And let's store it in there. All right, now, now that that's done and that's finished, what we're going to do is we're just going to copy the smooth look at and the move towards. And we're just going to put those in here. Let's call it something different. Movement is good. Now, we're going to change it though, because we're not going to go after the target. We're going to go after waypoint. And I'm also going to take the uh, finish distance and put that down to zero. All right. So, next thing we're going to do, since we've now created the object in here, and we're telling the uh, telling the enemy to pursue it, now since there is no finish event in here, let's give it a time-based finished event. So let's add one more wait, and let's give it finish. Now mm, let's give it one and a half seconds. All right, so now that that's done, new state. And here, we're going to clean up, because it makes no sense to have all sorts of waypoints littering up. So let's go in, destroy object, and tell it to destroy the waypoint we created. Once that's done, we're finished, and let's go back to the wait. Alright, so I'm just going to tell this to be the start state for now, so let's give it a shot and test. Okay, so it looks like it's performing the random action, uh, the random movement, just like we're expecting. Now, in the next video, I'm going to be going over how to juggle between these two so that we can then add in the control system so that it's patrolling when we want it to patrol and it's pursuing the player when we want it to pursue. But until then, I hope you have liked this video, and if you did, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a good one.